welcome back to another video in yesterday Apple released iOS 10.3.3 beta 2 so sorry for late video because um, this month on um, May and June I am having a graduate test and even the university test so I can go to the university so I will be off for about two or three weeks until I finish my test and I can come back with you guys with more video often so uh, today is about iOS 10.3.3 beta 2 it's actually very light I mean I just have to download 34 megabytes on my iPhone 5c so um, there's nothing new really there's nothing new so uh, all my bug is still here so I will show you it again so in the lock screen, when you open the widget tab, unlock with passcode, and it will have a lag animation. So it's still here. Yeah, so so kind of bad. So uh, let's see with um, notification glitch. I mean glitch not lagging. It's still here. So I will uh, trigger push notification. So I can uh, test it. So when you re press reply from here, it have a glitched animation like that. So uh, overall the performance still the same on iPhone 5 and the WWDC is coming so I really look forward to iOS 11 even though the iPhone 5 is come to an end. So how, how about battery life on 10.3.3 beta? So, 3 hours of usage, 5 hours of standby with 11%. So, this time I use LTE a lot and play games a lot. Uh, 4 hours of usage, 10 hours of standby with 1% battery. So, I got the first 5 hours of usage, 11 hours standby with 1% battery. Still LTE with games, so this is a very good record compared to 10.3.2, which is 4 hours of usage. Another 5 hours of usage, 16 hours standby with 1% battery, and another 5 hours of usage, 8 hours standby with 11% battery. So, 4 hours of usage, 7 hours standby with 35% battery. So, it's actually very, very good. So, that's all I got for 10 battery battery because I was busy for my study. So, all around, the battery is still very good and it improved a lot when you upgrade to 10.3.3. So, that's um, today's video and thanks for watching.